Now this is what we call the pull fold. And a 90 degree angle here. And already we're starting to see that classic herringbone fold. That's stunning, look at that. Welcome. We're going to make this beautiful herringbone form. It's going to use a, a special technique, which I think you'll find extremely simple. A very easy way to create the herringbone fold. So let's get stuck in. We need two pieces of A4 paper. Now this is just a good quality laser A4. And I'm going to start by halving it. And in fact, I'm going to fold 16 along this way. It's extremely simple to fold 16 divisions because all we're doing is halving. Now I'm going to halve that once again to make my 16 divisions. 16 division. There we go. Now, I'm gonna flatten all that out. And I'm gonna fold myself eight divisions along this way. Of course, that's extremely simple because I'm just halving all the way through. Concertinaing, completing those valley and mountain folds. Valley, mountain, valley, mountain. Now you might ask how on earth are we going to create a herringbone fold with this template? But I think you'd be amazed because we are using a special pull technique. And these lines are very important because when I come to recollapsing my herringbone to give me this construction, these lines are very important. Okay, so what we've got here is we've got the 8 by 16 fold. I'm now going to concertina it along my 16 fold and push it really tight. There you go. Now this is what we call the pull fold. What I'm going to do is I'm going to just release this a little bit. And because I've chosen this photocopy paper, it's thin enough for me to or hopefully do this technique without it ripping. So now, I'm gonna pull this into a 90 degree angle. Let's have a look at that. This here is 90 degrees. I'll show you by putting a piece of paper in there. It's roughly 90 degree. I'm going to continue to do this. Carefully releasing the angle. And if it is really stiff, you can work like this backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards. And when you're ready, I like to push it together. As you can see, we've got a 90 degree angle here and a 90 degree angle here. And already we're starting to see that classic herringbone fold materialize. So I'm gonna just pull this out in increments, it's a lot easier. Just to release it from there, so 
I've got a bit of a grip. And remember, that's where we want our 90 degrees. Ninety degrees tucked away there in the corner. I'm happy with that. We keep going. It starts to slide in. It's sliding into an angle. And then when I place it together, I can see where I might tidy up those ends. I'm using a bit of strength here. If it's too hard to pull it all together, you can always pull it in increments. So I'm moving through here and just pulling it in increments getting it at that 90 degree angle. Isn't that amazing? Look at that. That didn't take me long. I've already created one A4 pulled herringbone design. Now, remember, this is what we aim to complete. And this has, and this is made from two of these pieces. Let me show you what the side view is on this. So I've obviously made mine with a handmade decoration here using a sine wave, I've divided that so that I get this perfect pattern within the fold. But let's ignore that. All I want you to do is look at the M shape there. What we want to do is we want to get that into an M shape. And this is how we do it. We're going to utilize that original fold that we had before and we're going to collapse one of our sides. Look at that. That makes a really nice bauble as is. How am I going to do the other M shape? Bring it in. You guessed it. Just collapse that side in. We can Give a little bit of space with there because this is a this has got give obviously if we pull it we can pull it out again have a look at that it really is that simple to make this beautiful design but of course we need two. So let's fold the other one now. And even though it may be a little bit out, it will naturally fall back into place. I've used a glue stick there. I like glue sticks because they give me a little bit of give towards the end here, towards the end of the fold, and there'll definitely be a little bit of give in this one, because the folds aren't perfect. Look at that. 
we need to look at the back and really focus on pushing all the elements in. In fact, sometimes once I've done a crease, I'll actually work in like this and then crease it up again. This will give you fairly much a seamless join. There you go. Look at that. I really like that. That would make a fantastic mandala, even just, I think, with four. Four would get you a perfect mandala shape. But of course, we're not making the mandala. We're making this lovely shape. Can you remember before how we did our M fold? We're going to collapse one of the sides. And then we're going to collapse another side. Look at that. You've got your M side shape there. I'm happy with that. I'm gonna fold it over. That's stunning, look at that. And yes, you guessed it. I'm going to come back with my fold. glue stick, lots and lots of glue in there. And do you remember these sides were collapsed? So I'm just going to work them in flat. and let them naturally fall into place. Now the best thing about this is when we concertina it, we can make adjustments all the way. I am liking this. Look at that. In fact, eventually this will become pretty invisible, the fold. Now, there you have it. Your mandala and your beautiful decorative form. Let's pop a ping pong ball in the middle. Let's see what that looks like. Oh, very nice. I'm very happy with that. I can't wait to see what you create. Happy folding. Hey look, I've turned it into a bit of a game. It's really cool. You have to try to keep the ping pong ball in the endless mandala. It's so much fun. Oh! Hold on. Oh, thunder.